All right, what's up, people? We good right there? Yeah, we good. What's happening, people? Why this thing on? Turn this off. All right, let me go ahead and let everybody know I'm in here. All right, we'll see who comes over. All right, what's happening, everybody? Should know what's up, cuz? Aria, what's happening? Joe Hell, what's up? What's up, Damien? Yeah, yeah. What's going on with y'all? I'm on the charts right now. We got an MRMH on the chart, so... Literally got my eyes peeled seeing if a trade is going to set up. So, figured I'd come on live real quick. And, um... Hang out with you guys while I'm doing it. It's Friday, so, you know, we at the end of the week. <laughs> what's up, Stacy? Andrew, what's up? What's up, Jeff? Yep. Yeah, so that's the agenda for right now. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, you know they're going to cut me. They're going to cut me at an hour. <laughs> Oh no, Chanel got you got tea pulled out. Jesus. Yeah, you're gonna be out of commission for a little while. I hope you feel better though. <laughs> little woe <old> us. <laughs> yeah, you know you're my guys and gals. I mean, who else I'm going to hang out with? Nobody else knows what we doing. People be looking at me like I got two heads two heads on my shoulders or something. I start talking about what we, we be talking about. They be like, what do you mean the market? What? Which market? The stock market? No, not the stock market, man. I don't want to have to explain everything. Like, that gets on my nerves sometimes, having to explain everything to people. I just tell them I trade the markets, man. That's it. Send them a video or something. <laughs> what's up, um, Jelani? Jelani, what's good? Little engine, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, so. Yep, I'm just on here, you know. Yep, it is Friday. Yo, I can't wait, man. I already set up dinner. Like, I know we going to eat. We got the reservation made. Man, that's going to be nice. I know what I'm going to eat. I know what I'm going to have to drink. And I know what I'm going to have for dessert. And then I'll do the um, I'll do the Facebook recap after that. Later on this evening. And that's my schedule for the day. <laughs> Serge, what's happening? I know, right? Yeah, that's a lot. And I told you I figured out how to put the um how to put these on 
to YouTube and onto Facebook. So the live that I did yesterday is up now. It's on Facebook. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even share it yet. I gotta share it. But I got that on Facebook and it's on YouTube. It just I just released it at 1030. So more and more content. And yesterday had some nuggets in it. And I didn't even realize when I watched the playback, I was like, oh, some nuggets in here. So yeah, definitely gotta record these and gotta definitely put these out. Yep. Um, I took three trades this week so far, Jeff. Three and oh. Three and oh. I think I I think I might have told y'all about two of them. And one of them I took it was like the middle of the night, so I don't even think nobody was up. You know how I do. If I can't sleep, I'll just come on the chart to see what's going on. Sometimes the market will give us something. It'll give if it it'll, it'll give it up. Yeah, Ario, you mess with me, you won't get no sleep in life. <laughs> you won't get no more sleep in life. You just take power naps. Spend the rest of your time building your skill in this market for real. Yeah, but it's all good. I mean, I do that because that's what, like, my body can handle it. My body can handle not getting a lot of sleep. So, for me, it's not a problem. But I know some of y'all require your beauty sleep. So, if you require your beauty sleep, go to bed. <laughs> don't try to don't try to keep up with me. <laughs> yes, life of a trader, exactly. Oh, you was up, Jeff. Cause you're a maniac like me, so of course you up. <laughs> Little engine says, "I'm starting to see what you mean by watching the behavior of the market." I know, man. I know. I've been telling people about this for over a year now, and it, you know, sometimes it just takes people time to, first of all, believe what you're saying. You know. That one just now, did that one just set up just now? It kind of looked like the price was flirting a little bit. I see what y'all say in the chat. That one just now, I'm not sure about that. I just glanced at it, so I didn't see the whole thing. But yeah, what was I just saying? I just was saying something. Oh, oh, be, with behavior. So yeah, sometimes it takes people a little while to actually believe what you're talking about. Like they got to keep seeing it over and over and over and over again. And then when they finally understand, you know, they get the realization for themselves. So regardless of how long I've been talking about it, you know, and all of that, they still not going to get it until they actually believe it themselves. And you really, you know, it takes people a long time to shift they're thinking so that they can believe what you're talking about in the first place. Then after they believe it and they see it for themselves, then they're like, oh, he was right the whole time. And it's like, yeah, but I understand that people just don't accept things right away. And that's cool. You know, that that's just the nature of, of us as human beings. I believe we we're not going to accept things out the gate. Like, I'm, you, you know, you ain't going to you're not going to just accept the very first thing I tell you. I'm going to probably have to tell you something like five times. Five, six times. And then after I tell you that many times, you still ain't going to just believe it. You still going to want to see the proof for yourself. So that's how that process works. You know, but it's all good. Oh, Jeff, that was that was a dud. All right, cool. All right. That was a dud. <clears throat> yeah, I'm hoping the market don't start like speeding up and, and just start acting crazy. It was doing all right. And even if it do speed up, as long as the behavior remains, then we'll be all right. But if we start speeding up and doing all type of idiotic stuff, then that's going to be the end of that. <laughs> but it's all good. Bensky, what's happening, man?
Yep. Yo, how long this truck gonna stay here? It like without fail, somebody always wanna park right next to me where I park at. I don't know what that is. Every time. Every time. Lou Engine says, real talk. It takes time for someone to digest the information and see it for themselves. Yes, trading is an individual sport at the end of the day. It really is. It really is. Ariel said, my eyeballs hurt from looking at the chart. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you mean, Ariel. You'll get used to it, though. You, I guarantee you, you'll get used to it. And after a while, you're not even going to be seeing the chart. You're going to be seeing the market. Ooh, that's deep. That's deep. Should I elaborate on that? You heard what I just said? <laughs> after a while, you're not even going to be seeing the chart. You're going to be seeing the market. <laughs> See, that's why I, I, that's why I like these. When I do these lives like that, because stuff be just coming out. The nuggets be flowing, man. Nuggets be flowing for real. But no, what's happening? Yeah, and I'm glad to see more of y'all getting on this this Instagram. I got y'all using social media all crazy now, right? <laughs> Yo, I know I, I know I accomplished something when I get Barry on here. Because Barry talking about he don't do social media at all. He wasn't even on Facebook until he got with Team Alliance. Ain't that crazy? He wasn't even on Facebook. I was like, we was going back and forth. I remember when he first signed up, he kept telling me. He was like, oh, well, I don't do Facebook. I said, you do now. I said, you, you, you want to rock with us and with what we doing? You do Facebook now, bro. That's where everything is lit. That's where everything is at. This right here looked like it was setting up, but I don't. Did you, did you see just now the price and going out and then coming back in? That's a no, no. If you were looking just now at the pricing on the on the option on that um, twenty eight ninety seven. So I was going in and out that flirt. No. Nope. We don't play with that. We do not play them games. Some might set up though. Behavior's still here. Behavior's still there for the most part. And I don't really see too much um, speed coming in, so we should be alright. Keep your eyes peeled. We'll be alright. Um, what was I about to say? I forgot what I was gonna say. So all good, Bernard. What's happening with you, man? I know you're getting into them training videos. I know that. I had just spoke to you, right? Did I just speak to you? Oh, right, right, Renard. You about to get back in training, right? If that's the, if that's the same Renard I'm thinking of. Renard Cohen, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to see you back in a minute. Yep. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Team Alliance. It's where, just where you need to be, man, and need to remain. Just stay just stay there. Just stay here. Stay home. Stacy said, I'm on it too much. I can't get my work done. <laughs> well, you told me to, you, you, said, you told me yesterday to go live more, Stacy. That's what you said. You told me to do more Facebook lives. So I'm doing two today. I'm going to do this one and I'm going to do the Facebook later. See? So I got you. This is real good for you guys because it's like when we are on here, we're connecting and we're looking at the market at the same time, you know, and I can kind of talk through things. So it's this like a market chat, really. Doing these lives. We could talk about it. We see what's going on at the same time. It's powerful. 
Ooh, look at that. See, that's see. That's what I, I don't want to see. I don't want to see this thing start speeding up and acting stupid. But if it decides to do that, it is what it is. We don't got no control over this market, that's for sure. That's why we're going to win. Because we know that. <laughs> he said, ouch. <laughs> Yep. He said, ouch. Yeah, that definitely hurt somebody. They was playing. If they wanted to play with one of them early entries. Oh, oh, there's pricing. It looks like it's heading up. All right, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny how people be like really attempting to trade and they they'll look at the market by themselves. And they'll just try to figure things out, like messing around with the binaries and stuff. Like they'll really, they'll really try to figure stuff out. Come on, bro, what you doing? See, I had money just posted up like that. Like I don't be trusting people. I'm always on point, though. Always on point. But anyway, so um. Jelani said that's his second time passing by. It is, right? And looking that way. I'm like, what you looking over there for? Every time you every time you walk by, you post up right there and you look back. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I see what he's looking at though. It's actually somebody that's over there. But I'm like, why you wanna do it right here by my car though? Get out of here. Beat it, man. Beat it. <laughs> this truck finally leaving It's about time Go ahead man Go on about your business <laughs> I know y'all think I'm crazy uh, But I'm not It's not me that's crazy It's these people Everybody out here is nuts It's not me man I'm I'm normal Said, tell him to come move that truck. That's too close to you. <laughs> we must have spoke that up. Must have spoke that up. Oh, was he? Was he the? Was he the driver of the truck? Then he pulls up there and he's doing okay. Yeah, so he is just a truck driver. Then I'm, I'm seeing him now getting in. He just got out and got back in. All right. So now that makes sense. Why he hovering around? Hovering around in my area, man. Like, come on, we function with the three feet rule. Keep your distance, man. Three feet. You meet three feet before you get beat to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's that's the New York model right there. Give me three feet before you get beat to sleep. What's up, James? <clears throat> Anybody take a trade after the Marks rule? Um, not yet. I didn't. I didn't catch one yet. Nope, I didn't catch one just yet. But we're gonna keep an eye on things. One might set up. Who knows? One may set up. The other day when I did a live, um, a trade has set up. I think I. I actually missed it. I was looking, but I didn't catch the entry. A couple of y'all caught it, though. A couple of y'all caught it. Who had caught that one? I think somebody was on live. Oh, Quentin. Quentin was on live with us, and he caught it. He got into that one. I remember that. Jeff said, when we have a new TA retreat, I'm going to keep asking how many full-timers we need. <laughs> um, well, we definitely want to do something for 2019. I know that's going to take time to plan out, though, if it's going to be like everybody coming.
But we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. And I'm still... Um, Jeff, I, I am going away uh, first week of February. So I think that was the time that you said that you was coming to New York after that, right? Something like that. But whatever that time was, let me know. And um, we'll link up when you come. Hang out. Do some team aligned stuff. Andrews in Miami Beach. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> I just saw Miss Cat said she don't have Instagram. All right, Miss Cat. You're going to get Instagram by the time I'm done with you, though. I remember there was a time I, that I wasn't on Facebook. I remember that. I think I came on Facebook like 2014, if I'm not mistaken. And the reason that I got on Facebook was something, it was something weird. Like somebody kept telling me, yo, you got to get on Facebook. And I was like, for what? Now I'm like, she. What would you do without Facebook? It's crazy. Facebook got a lot of good like resources and stuff that you can use. Like just the group chat alone. That's powerful. That's powerful, man. Yeah, exactly. It needs to slow down and get back into that cycle. Yep. Okay, so a couple of weeks after. Cool. Cool. Uh, Aria says, I don't know how y'all take with such a small time frame. Um, what you mean by that, Aria? I heard you say that earlier. I didn't really I didn't fully understand what you were saying. What do you mean with a, with such a small time frame? You mean you mean like being on a one minute chart? Or taking five minute trades, is that what you mean? Need you to elaborate a little bit. Grand is asking me a good question about MRMH, asking if it um is only valid for one to two cycles, like one to two binaries. The answer to that is no. It is it's valid. It remains for the duration of our slow condition and um you know the behavior being stable. As long as you got that, it's still it's still valid. So you just gotta wait. Wait for your trade to set up and do not deviate from the parameters at all. Yeah, he's understanding that. Very good. All right, cool. Cool. Oh, she means taking five minute trades. Well, I know it's a little scary at first. Matter of fact, it's a it's scary period if you don't know the market. That like that's what it is. If you don't if you don't understand how the market works, the five minute binaries will scare you to death because you like, yo, market can do a lot within five minutes, which it can. And it's your lack of understanding of how the market moves and its behavior that causes you to lose five minute trades. Matter of fact, that causes you to lose any trade, any any binaries that you trade in. If you don't understand behavior, you're gonna lose anyway. So the five minutes are no different. The reason that we wanna use five minutes 
is because look at how many opportunities can be presented when the market does present the environment that we're looking for. You see, that's what goes on. When the market actually gives us the environment and the behavior that we want, there's gonna be an abundance of trades for us. And if the market is not giving us that, then we don't trade at all. So it's like we're always in position to either just stay out and keep our money in our account, or when the market positions itself and lines up, the market pays us. And it does that through our protocol and, and the way that we wait for trades. Because our protocol is based on the market. It's not based on anything else. It ain't based on which binary you picking. It's based on behavior of the market, period. During the right environment. So it comes down to the timing. That's what our protocol allows us to do. It allows us to execute with precision with our timing. So by the time we get into a trade, it's gonna be a winning trade. That's like, that's the thesis. And that is the result also. So we just tread lightly to make sure that we're not deviating from the process. That's where you can get into trouble. But over time, you begin to learn what not to do. When you're looking at, you know, different examples of a trade or, you know, an individual trade, you're like, hmm, I wonder if this one was, you know, what we're looking for. You got to ask the questions. Well, what's the environment like? Okay, what's the behavior like? All right, if, if that trade's set up but the environment ain't right, then it's not what we're looking for. You see, it's something very subtle as that. Something as subtle as it's not in the right environment is gonna be the reason that you, you don't qualify that as MRMH. Because you gotta have all of it. You can't, it, it can't just be two out of three. It gotta be all three, all or nothing. And that's where your discipline comes in because your job is to not do anything else unless that is the case. And your job is to wait. So that's where the patience comes in. Yeah, so that one was DQ right away. <clears throat> Walker says, same as long time frames, but results of your decision on where the market is going is much quicker. Exactly. Exactly. You get paid so much faster. You get paid so much faster. And yeah, you're going to lose faster if you don't know what the hell you're doing. That's the scary part. That's why people are scared. Because they know that they don't know what they're doing but they're attracted by the appeal of being able to make money within five minutes. They like that. And for us, it's even less time. Like, you know, we making money in less than a minute, but our process is not less than a minute. Our process takes time. Our process takes time, but it's time well spent and it's worth what we're, what we're doing, you know, in general. What if you can't find a trade to open with? What if you can't find the trade to open with? I'm not I'm not understanding that question either. What do you mean by that? Just try to um try to um clarify that question, Ario. Yeah, she did. She did start. She started training um, last night. And I, I see that she's very, um, you know, she, she got high energy and she's anxious. So she's asking, she's asking good questions, actually. But I'm just trying to understand what the questions are, because sometimes I'm, I don't get what she's asking right away. But I'm pretty sure she'll clarify it. 
Joshua said, then you wait until you see a setup that has extreme high probability or you log off and come back later. Exactly. We just wait in majority of the time. Yes, that's what Jeff just said. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. And waiting is a good thing because it teaches you to just allow the market to be what it is. You ever notice people get anxiety about something, right? And they want it to happen right now. So in their mind, they're trying to make it and force it to happen because they want it now. So that desire to want it now causes them to do stuff that deviates from what it was intended for them to do from the very beginning. And that deviation causes them to mess it up. And then when they mess it up, they're mad at the result of the mess up. But the root of the mess up was your lack of patience. That's what happened in the first place. But it's very it's so funny how people just repeat that process over and over again. They keep doing it and they keep wondering, you know, why? Oh, why is this happening to me? Because you're not you don't got no patience. Um, Say the market is moving, but it's not at the indicative and you have only three minutes. OK. Right. Yeah. You OK. Now I see what needs to go on with you, Ario. You need to watch 55 again. I think you only watched it once. You need to watch that like three or four times and let the parameters sink in so you understand the process from just from that perspective alone. Even before you go into the other videos that I told you to watch. Don't, don't even watch those yet. Go back to 55 and watch 55 like two more times over and over again. Watch number 55 twice again. Until you be until it gets it starts to sink in. Cuz that question that you just asked is because you didn't fully get it yet. You don't understand the parameters yet. But it's okay. You know, that's what the videos are for. I've literally watched number 55 like I'm over 200 times now. On that on that one video. So, you know, it's it's not a wonder or a guess why you see me execute the way that I do. The training is all in me. Like I don't do nothing else. I literally don't do anything else. Damien said, I'm that way. I want it now, but working on it, getting better. I had to step back. Yeah, you and you do, you, you know, you it's like you got to check yourself. You have to check yourself because it's a natural thing for you to do that. That's a natural thing. It's not like you're the only one in the world that acts like that. That's how most people are. Most, most people want it now, have no patience, and then they get mad when they deviate, mess up, and then have to deal with the result of the mess up. They They get real disappointed depressed, hurt. And it's one thing if you did it not knowing. What hurts more is when you knew and you did it anyway. <laughs> you, your feelings really be hurt. 1235 was mine for the day. What? I'm over here talking in a trade setup and y'all ain't say nothing? I don't appreciate that. I'm about to hang up on y'all. <laughs> I'm about to hang up on you, Joshua. <laughs> Stude over here taking a trade. Ain't say nothing. All right. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> All right, I feel a little better now. Jeff said it was a back tick early on. Okay. 
but it was smooth. That don't help. <laughs> Just rub salt in the wound, man. Damn. DQ on the short, but it went straight up for the long. Okay, cool. <laughs> Jelani talk about I went to answer the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Right and I dropped the remote <laughs> Yo y'all are crazy man <laughs> Y'all are crazy He said I went to answer the doorbell That's alright watch these clusters come on Watch these clusters come through uh huh. Speak it. I'm speaking it into existence. Um, day fifty-five. Kev said you were right. I gotta watch video fifty-five and one seventy-five again. Damn. See, this is what I don't like to hear. I'm like, when? When did you? When did you even take a trade? This is why I want y'all to stay in the group chat, man. Like, stay close so that you don't just be doing stuff in the market, man, and losing real money. Stay close, man. Stay close. I don't just say that just to say it. Yes, manifest that money, baby. Little engine that does says, do you trade anything other than five minute binaries? Nope. That's all we do. That's all we need. All right, let me see this. Look at the short. See if this sets up. Let's see if this sets up. Pricing is off a little. Nope, 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 nope. Pricing is off. So this is a little out of sync. Not even a little out of sync. We don't got the distance. Yeah, it's just, that's the D, that's just a DQ. Man, it's all right though. All right, but we getting close. I like, I do like how that looked though. So I like the, the trade Joshua took, that one. Behavior is looking good. Environment is looking good. Things are looking good. So we'll see if um, we get clusters. Just wait. Just wait it out. See what the market do. Um, I wish I didn't have to go to work. I want to watch these videos, but I got to wait all the way until 730. I know what that's like. It's all right. You'll get to it, um, Ariel. Don't don't worry about it. Don't you know? And that's another thing too. Don't try to rush the process. That's why I told you to go back and watch those videos to watch fifty five again, like two more times. Um, take your time with the process. You know, your your learning process is your learning process. Don't try to skip and move on to the next thing when you didn't get the first thing fully. So don't worry about it. You'll be all right. Posted the 1235 in the chat. Okay, the video? Cool. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at that myself. I want to see. Jeff said it, it looks smooth. So I want to see what smooth is looking like. Um, Stacy said, I'm taking it, but I'm waiting on the market. <laughs> yeah, when it comes, we're going to take it. Yep, when it comes, we are going to take it. Yep, we'll see what happens.
Stacy, how long we been on for? Stacy, Stacy, gonna let me know how much time is left and all that. She'd be like, "Listen, you got two minutes." <laughs> the time be flying by, I, and you know I don't have no track of time at all. Like, time don't even exist to me, damn near. Like, how is it almost one o'clock right now? I kid you not. The last time I looked at the clock, it was like nine o'clock. So you're telling me that almost four hours went by like that. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Like, because I was here. Like, where I'm at right now, where I'm parked, my coffee spot is here. They go Instagram already acting up. Anyway, I came and got my coffee, drank my coffee. And then I just been, you know, looking at the charts and doing other stuff or whatever. That was four hours. That is insane. Jeff said DQ for the short. That's why I went long. Okay. Are you serious? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I was about to say Jelani. Damn. <laughs> right. She just said it out of nowhere yesterday, right? She was like, you got four minutes. And it was four minutes. It damn sure was. I was I was about to say something. I was in the middle, in the middle of talking and I looked up and it, the screen was black. It was gone. I was like, oh, snap. IG doing me dirty. <laughs> IG was like, I don't care nothing about that knowledge you spitting. You getting you getting chopped. <laughs> See if this one set up long. Nah, way too much speed. That got way too much speed in it. That got way too much speed in it. All right, so. Come on, market. You're starting to act a little, little shifty now. What you going to do? <laughs> he said Joshua was singing that in the video. What, four minutes? <laughs> Ooh, did you see that? See, that's why we don't play with this market. You saw what it just did? <laughs> Yo. Somebody wanted to play with that long. Somebody played around with that bar just now and got slapped. Got their whole soul snatched out of their body. Look at that. Yo, that's like the Debo punch. Remember when Debo hit money in Friday? It was like, that's my bike, punk. That's what that was. The Debo punch. Yo, I'm telling you, man, that's why. I... People want to play. Y'all want to, not y'all, but people be wanting to play around with this market, man. People be wanting to play. This thing ain't nothing to play with. Stop playing. Stop playing. It's like that kid back in the day, right? The one that never fought back and people was bullying him. And then one day he just said, stop playing. And you kept playing and he snuffed you. <laughs> and you like, oh. Snuff your ass. He said, stop playing. <laughs> James said, I almost took that one. No, sir. No, sir. And you saw when I, you saw the, the, first, the very first thing I said was, yo, let's see the long setup. Next thing I said, nah, it's too much speed. Way too much speed. Look at what the speed turned into. Speed turned into a jackhammer. I'm telling you, man, we don't play. We do not play. Right, my grandmama gave me the shame. <laughs> <laughs> Yo.
Yes, yeah, somebody got disappointed, man. What? <laughs> Walker said they got their chain that Granny gave them snatched by the market. Yup. <laughs> Word. That kid that just snuffed, he just snuffed them. He told him to stop playing with him. He's the market. That quiet kid that kept getting bullied. He said, yo, stop playing. One day he just he just was like, stop playing. You want to keep playing? <laughs> Get snuffed. You don't know what happened. Mm, mm, mm. Whew. Trying to tell, trying to tell people, man. And this is why we talk about this all the time as far as like the market teaching you. It's like, there's your lesson. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you learned. It's crazy. <laughs> wow. All right, so Cab said he took, an, he took 11.30 on the Euro. Kev, you know what I'm going to ask you. Was there a more MH on the chart? And don't lie. Tell the truth. Let me see what he says. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. To my grandmother. My grandmother and them used to say. Yeah, you see how that you see how that, that that speed is bursting out. No, no, no. Uh, uh. Nah, we don't play with that. Giovanni, what's happening? What's up, Henry? Um, let me see. Right, <clears throat> and I'm glad that you're pointing that out, James, because that that's going to be the reason why it's tempting because you see the pricing. You seeing the pricing, but there's a reason why the pricing is still favorable for you. And especially when it goes out and comes back. Like if you if you actually look back at that trade, I don't know if anybody recorded it, but it went in the 90s. Then it came back into the 80s again. No, it shouldn't do that. That's an indication that the market itself is not stable. If the market ain't stable, it can do what you just saw it do. It, don't, it doesn't always do that, but it can do it. And that's really the whole point of that. Um, does that knock that marks rule or it stays in because the speed caused that behavior to go bad? I would say, like, <clears throat> look at the end of the binaries now. Like, you see this last one? You see the 1250? That just finished. That ain't the behavior we want to see. If you see, you know, another two or three of those reset. You see another two or three of those reset. That that one that looked crazy just now that reversed. That we was talking about the Debo punch. That one set it off. And it was speed that created that. So if speed is going to cause our behavior to go out, then we reset. But you got to just continue to observe. Because it, it could just be a temporary thing. And then, you know, behavior comes back. If the behavior continues to do that, start over. But that's a good question, um, Jelani. Right. And I understand that, James. Right. Because you had so much distance away from the strike. You're thinking it's going to hold. You can't just assume that it's going to hold. Cannot. That's why we that's why you got to study behavior. Because you can't make assumptions based on anything else. When. 
unprofitable behavior is present. If there's instability in the market, don't play with nothing. Don't play with the distance. Don't don't do that. Don't just assume that that's going to hold because it may not hold at all. Market made that whole thing look like it wasn't even there. The, D, the you, you see what the D, the Debo punch was looking crazy. It was looking crazy. It, it Look at where it ended. All the way on the other side of the line. All the way on the other side. Like, not a little bit. Way down. So it was like, well, damn. Where'd that come from? Because it wasn't, it wasn't positioned like that at first. When it was positioned above the line, it was there, and it was like it was kind of holding, right? Then the last 20-some seconds, it just started doop, doop, doop. Psh, out of nowhere. Nah, we don't play with that. We do not play with that. Um, Walker said January 15th had a had quite a few invalid setups that had pricing until 30. And they lost between 1130 and 1. So be careful with the law of pricing. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Henry, Henry going to run the list. He said he just woke up. He going to run through the list real quick. 55, 56, 175. <laughs> That's a good idea, man. Just keep them right on deck. What's happening, Sheen? Um, okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. Just wanted to make sure. Yes. James said, I got it. I keep my guard up for those thirst traps. It looked too good to be true. Right. Exactly. If, if it's looking too good to be true, it is. But but the funny thing about it is that you're saying that it looked too good to be true, but what you're referring to is the as the, the, the distance and the pricing. Like just two of the two of the of the parameters. Sometimes they are not justified. They are not justified at all. So, you know, if you've seen that set up, you, you already know it looked fishy. Yes. Exactly what Henry is, is saying. Mark's rule is the answer for everything. That is that's it. That's it. The same matter of fact, the the, the trade that I said was Mark's rule, the way that that trade moved, that's how you want the trade to set up. That's why that's always the answer. That's always the answer. Because it means that everything was present and it was stable. Right. Jeff said, when you focus on the money, you get anxious. Exactly. Yeah, Walker definitely does his thing. He definitely does. That's why he's so sharp. This dude will tell you what time a trade took place on last year. He'd be like, yo, on uh, December 28th at around 1.15, <laughs> there were actually three setups that were invalid. <laughs> you might want to refer to those. No, but that's, I mean, that, that, that is so powerful. Because we always dealing with the same market, like even the the fact that you can go back in time and look at old videos and look at the way that the market was moving and then compare that and contrast it to today is amazing. Because it's like, oh, snap, market was always acting crazy. This ain't nothing new. Yeah, that's what the market does. The market does what it does. It's like it, it's not doing something different. It's always doing the same craziness. It's the way you're interpreting the market. How are you interpreting what you're seeing? That's the key to it. Yeah, Walker's definitely a beast. I think he I think he's pushing that 1K mark too, if I'm not mistaken. He been hovering for a minute, but he he about to crack. He about to crack it. What's happening, Mo? Yeah, yeah, I got I got my shooters in here. Um, Miss Cat says she watched all the videos. 
Okay, watch him again. Watch him again, Miss Cat. So, so Kev is actually saying it was Mark's rule. What time was Mark's rule? What time was it? And that's another thing too, especially if you guys are on different markets. If you want another market that's not the um the pound, when you see Mark's rule, post it in the group chat. Post it. That way we can look. Even though I don't look, you know, I mean, I don't trade other markets, but I'll look at Mark's rule if I see you guys post it for the market that you watch. Just to verify, just so you have another set of eyes to see, because I know that also sometimes you guys are saying that things are Mark's rule and it don't be. Like there'd be too much speed in the market. You know, it might have been a DQ. So you want somebody else to verify that you're, what you're seeing as, as MRMH is what it is. You know, accountability. That's where our accountability comes in. Water Walker said, Video 55 was my motivation and prime example for learning. Yeah, it's, it's the blueprint. It's a blueprint. <clears throat> this one here looked like it was setting up. I I just glanced at it though, but from when I glanced at it, it looked like it had speed. But someone verify that for me on this one that's running right now, the um the one o'clock. Look like it's set up on the the, the twenty eight eighty five. Has speed in it, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh man, five minutes, Stacy. Damn, hour went by quick. All right, cool. It got a little chilly just now. Hold up, I'm about to turn this heat on. Ah, oh, Miss Cat, try to get on Instagram. I told you I was gonna get on here. <laughs> You you want to come on and it's about to cut off though. We got five minutes, Miss Cat. Catch the next one. Oh, and and I and I'll be um posting them too. The the Instagram from yesterday is on um. Did I share it yet? I ain't even shared it yet. I'ma share it now. I'ma share it on my timeline. Yeah, it's on there. I put it on YouTube too. Cause it, it's it be you know like this is very informative stuff. Like especially for people on the outside looking in. You know we speak in TA language, so damn twenty five seconds. They will be playing, Stacy. Yeah, we speak in TA language, but this is there's a lot of value and a lot of nuggets on this. All right, so this is about to cut off in another 15 seconds. So Instagram, y'all be cutting my lives off early, but I still appreciate y'all. It's all love.